Hey guys, it's Worms World here, and in this video, I'll be covering the sign up and starter assessment for data annotation.tech. This has been requested in the comments multiple times, so I hope it helps you out. If you aren't familiar with data annotation.tech, it is an online from home website that allows you to work on your own schedule and pays $20 to $40 an hour. And as you can see in the top right, I've earned over $6,000 from it so far. If you would like further information on the website, then check out some of my other videos on it. Now, if we go back to the sign up website and scroll down, it shows the steps to create an account. Also including details on how the company will be hiring from a wider range of countries in the future. So to create an account, you can either click get started at the top or get started today here. The sign up process is fairly simple, so I'll briefly cover it before we get onto the starter assessment. So after clicking get started, you'll then be taken to a page like this asking for your email address. Make sure it's one that you have access to as you'll need to verify it later. You will then be asked for your first name, last name and to provide a mobile number which they will text the code to later. Then a password for your account is needed. You can see the password criteria on screen. I did get a comment about why it wasn't letting this person to create a password even though they were meeting the criteria. And I found that the site does not count a full stop as a special character. So instead you could use things like a dollar sign or an exclamation mark, things like that. After that, you'll be sent a verification email and be asked to sign into your account. Next, you will have to read and sign a terms of use agreement and a task confidentiality agreement. I won't show them as they are quite long and I don't wanna waste your time. You will then be sent a code to the phone number you gave earlier and asked to enter it. This is to verify your phone number. And once that's done, your account is created and you can begin with the starter assessment. If you've already completed the starter assessment, don't retake it. We can see from this message that you don't need to do that. The assessment will take at least an hour, so make sure that you have enough time to complete it. We can also see the message about knowing if you pass the assessment within a week. However, I'm not sure this is accurate, as I've heard of many people being accepted or seeing jobs at a later time, including this Reddit comment stating they didn't end up seeing any work from the site until six months later. You will then have to answer a few multiple choice questions on your gender identity, racial and ethnic background, and level of English fluency. Here, you can also list any other languages that you are fluent in. You will also be asked to enter your location. You will next have to listen to a short audio clip that they provide the link to. And you'll need to type out what is said. For this, ensure you are spelling the words correctly and using the correct grammar, including punctuation and capitalization. Then, you will be shown two separate social media posts and asked to explain how the posts are or are not hateful. Consider both the captions and images if there is both and think about if the posts are hateful towards any groups or individuals. Again, focus on your sentence structure, spelling and punctuation. These answers only have to be a few sentences long with the minimum amount of sentences needed for each answer being two. The next question is looking at if two books are similar and if one would be a good recommendation to someone who enjoyed the other. This question is checking your ability to Google information as well as your ability to compare. So for this question, you would need to find out some information on the books and see if they have similarities in things like genre, topic or author, sort of things that could allow a reader to enjoy them both. Then there is another question which is checking your ability to Google information. For this, it's an easy search. You may need to briefly look at a couple of web pages that come up. This is just to ensure that you get the correct information. The question's multiple choice, so it's very easy, but double check your answer to be sure. Then there is the creative writing question. It only has to be between five and seven sentences. However, you can do more if you need to. So the story doesn't have to be very long at all and do not use AI to answer this question as you will fail the assessment if you do. This question will typically be about an animal that is a certain colour 
and has an unusual interest or hobby. The question may also specify a location and date for the story to take place. I would strongly advise that you take some time to plan out your story and link together the various criteria. For example, if the story asks for a red dog that likes to play computer games, is the dog not very good at computer games and gets angry because of this, which over time has turned him red? If you can link different parts of the story together, it will create a better piece. You could also write the story from the first person perspective of the animal if you like. The choice is yours. Just ensure that you include all of the questions criteria in the story in some way, even if it's only a brief mention. Again, for this question, focus on spelling and punctuation and do not use AI. I have two friends who both used ChatGPT and then very slightly changed the story and neither of them got accepted. The next two questions are both comparing two chatbot responses, deciding which is better and explaining your reasoning why. For these questions, you should examine what the prompt's criteria was and see which chatbot response met this best. For example, if the prompt asks for an eight line poem about cars and one chatbot meets this criteria and the other does a 10 line story about a farm, then there's a clear winner. For the short explanation on why you chose that response, write a few sentences about which response better met the prompt criteria and if either was written in a superior way or had a better flow to it. These should be full sentences with correct spelling and punctuation. You will then be asked to optionally enter your LinkedIn URL and select your highest education level as well as your area of study. Then you are asked to write about yourself. This is asking about your education and work background. Try to link the work you mention to work that the website might need. Include any IT skills you have, any comparison work you've done, any work with data, as well as English language, reading and writing skills, and any other languages that you might know. It will then ask how you heard about the website. So for this, just be honest, put how you first heard about it, whether that's through Reddit, a friend, or through me, just answer it honestly. And that's the same with the last question as well. Give a realistic estimate of how much work you'll be able to do each week. Finally, it will ask you if you have any comments. You don't need to put anything here unless you want to. You can now hit submit and congratulations, you've completed the starter assessment. You should see two other assessments to complete, which you will get paid for. If you'd like to see the earning potential of daytranitation.tech, then check out my other videos. I hope this video has been helpful, and if you found this video useful and it's helped you get accepted, then please leave a like, and subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this. See you next week.